as you can see it has no more problem so we need some check at first we need some equipment like this it's a direct card and a blower and yeah and most important thing is the multimeter You can see I found a condenser quite impressive. Its upper side is over, so it must must be damaged. So it should be damaged. At first, we need to replace the capacitor. Okay, you can see I removed the. Absolutely damaged. Another one, no be sound. And this one, no be sound. And this one, also no be sound. We open the MOSFET. We need to check again.
it's a new MOSFET. As you see, it's a new MOSFET. It's a blank space, so I put the condenser or capacitor here, like this. It's a negative side and it's a positive side. So I put the capacitor here, like this. Take a iron. Soldering iron. We need to clean the working section. It's a thinner. We need to clean the all surface. We work 
You can see the display come out. We need to adjust the fan. Simply attach the fan and then power up again. Overheat shutdown. We need to power off again. It's hundred percent repaired. So friends, please subscribe me to learn more and more. I can teach you everything, motherboard and laptop, all things you can repair at home. Just you can see. Okay.